What's up, people? One up punch here. So, Solaco came out today, May 31st, 2024, and the full asking price is $25, but they have a sale about 10% off. And I did a stream for about maybe five, six hours straight of playing this game. So, I wanted to show up what happens when you first start off the game. You're basically put inside this small room that's like a recovery room, and you have to walk around these different areas and trying to find a rifle or a gun to defend yourself. In Sulaco, there's a bunch of different areas, and there's a lot of places to go to. You have small vents, small areas, doorways, closets, modules to you could open up doors, and being able to unlock secrets, getting armor, weapons, and so on. But when you go and you try to get your way around this area, you have to get the medkits that you survive when you're shot at, try to keep yourself away from the enemy, and then being able to find the rifle when you go through the uh, corridor or small vent here that you'll see on a bed, and then they'll burst through the doorway and you have to shoot them. Personally, after about five or six hours of playing this, I did not understand, like, I played the demo for about four or five hours, and, like, there was not that much to it during the demo. But when the full game came out today, and I was able to play a lot of the different maps from going to these, like, small hallways instead of a hospital, to going to a like water treatment plant going to streets and then continue on after that to these other bigger areas where these enemies will progressively get harder the more you progress through the story which adaptability is something you rarely see in some games but as you see here with these guys that you're just normal soldiers that walk at you they'll talk they'll interact with you and say different things like hey over there or uh, she's flanking, she's going to kill me, different things, and it's very reactionary. So if I'm going to do something like, say, I kill all his friends, then the last squad member that's part of that squad will say, oh my god, they're all wiped, and then try to rush me or like try to hide instead of a corner. They are pretty crazy when they come at you, too. There's a lot of aggressiveness to some of the things they do. For example, they will gain smoke, and they will gain shields. So if you try to shoot at them through the smoke, you really can't tell where the hell they are. And other times they have shields, it's like one side. You can see different like platelets on one side of it, and then the other side is just a see-through red. Then you have different areas to where you have to unlock using a keypad, and data pads will have most of the codes in there. And then you get your magnum, which is the cricket, as well as your body armor, and that'll give you shield, more health. And I think you could also go with an uber charge, which is up to 200 health. But the guns in this game are another thing I like to talk about right now. First, you have the assault rifle, and of course, I just picked up the Magnum. The feel of most games I've ever played, boomer shooters, modern day, whatever, Solaco has a really different feel when it comes down to the, all the different guns. Assault rifle, when you're firing it fully automatic or semi-automatic, and you see blood splatter everywhere, it just has that really nice, heavy feel to it. Same thing with the Magnum. When you shoot somebody, you can knock them against the wall from knockback damage. You could shoot and pierce them sometimes and they'll hit against their teammates. You could also slide in the game to where you slide into them and knock them back. As well as pressing the zero button that allows you to go to melee combat, which is your fist. And you could punch them in like a combo to where you jab twice and then uppercut them. Or just punch them a couple other times. When you do this, you actually stun lock them for a little bit so they can't shoot you. But if you give them a chance, they will blast the shit out of you with shotguns. Mini guns, assault rifles, pistols, energy weapons. It really depends on what they are and what their type of skill set is. The more you play the game, it progressively gets harder. I am playing on the second hardest, which is, I think, Captain. While the other one is Admiral. And, again... Having these different areas to where you have to use barrels to get on top of like a shelf or another area that has like a button or a, I guess like a refined explosive barrel, that's where you have to go and it feels really nice to just complete something that makes you feel like you're not only intelligent, but that you also find secrets and gain rewards that way too. It's a whole different experience when playing games like Solaco. I played Project Warlock 1 and 2. I played Iron Maiden and some other ones. And when I played this, I think of it like a boomer shooter, but like an open world because there's just so much shit to do in it. You blow stuff up using these barrels. You find key cards. You unlock new doorways. And if you're close enough to a safe zone, then you're allowed to go in there and grab some ammo by buying it with your credits or being able to upgrade your weapons using weapon parts that you find. You can blow up like elite units or fight the juggernaut and he'll drop like five or six weapon parts. 
You could find it in smaller secret areas or even over by these other safe rooms. But essentially that machine I just seen over there that has like the turning spinning uh, symbol, that is a weapon upgrade station. And this is allowing you to upgrade your different weapons that you have from the magnum to the shotgun, the assault rifle, to the nail launcher or rather a machine gun that fires nails called the penetrator, the grenade launcher, and some other ones you are able to unlock and upgrade everything with it here using weapon parts as well as this weapon upgrade which is the yellow um, card you see on the top right side of the screen next to that is weapon parts and then you have currency the difference with this is that you have to get a tech module level of two in order for you to buy ammunition for your guns otherwise you wouldn't be able to do it and i'm i think tech level two slash three right now in my playthrough but you're able to buy ammunition from this area as well as upgrade your weapons that you need to, like I said again earlier when it came down to the adaptability of the different enemies that you fight. They start off with grenades and deployable shields, smoke grenades and mobile shields. Then the crawler mines have different explosive radiuses because they jump at you and blow up. Sentry guns have more piercing ammo. And then squad leaders give more morale boosting to their units, giving better tactics, telling them where they are. And if they see you, they're going to do more damage to you because they have higher weapons. Again... Coming to this other area where there's bigger places like the streets and even Sal's Bar, you have this other place called Gwyn, which is this vending machine that gives you health. She'll sell you med kits that you could use the Z button to activate, and I think it's top three for the cap of the med kits. Otherwise, that she'll heal you for 50 using stim packs, and you need money for that too. Other areas, if you don't have a doorway that you can unlock from, you can break through windows. I think it's got some pretty good destructibility. I don't know if everything is destructible. But again, when you shoot enemy units, depending upon the gun, you just see viscera everywhere. Blood that's pink and red. and just There's so much shit going on in this game that it's hard to even comprehend what's going on. One thing I forgot to mention was the challenges. When you get into a fight or you're about to get into one with a bunch of enemy units... They will put up challenges to kill like 25 units to get a bunch of weapon parts or killing a bunch of elites to get like a weapon upgrade. Depends on whatever it is. That being said, what do I think of Solaco? Is it worth the $25 for people to go purchase? Absolutely hell yes. Played this game for six and a half hours straight. I love the fights. I love the guns. I love the openness. I love the different areas I could access and check out. Seeing secret areas with armor and weapons, being able to pick up like new data entries for codes to access in the keypad. There's so much shit to do in Sulaco. And the more I keep playing it, the more I keep loving it with the enemies that adapt to my actual shooting, the different weapons, the different tactics, the different skills they have. There's so much stuff to do. Not to mention, it is early access. So who knows however long they're going to be putting more stuff in, more maps, more weapons, more areas. And also this guy that got blown in half and he's just kind of crawling around. He kind of took a little bit before he died, but he also loves this game too. That's why he decided to jump in with a jetpack and get blown in half. But anyway, I've been One Nut Punch and this has been the Solaco video. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you all later in the next one. Like I said... If you have not picked this game up, super high recommendation people try it out. They have the primary fire for all the guns. They have the alt fire for all the different guns when you get the blueprints to do it. But there is so much stuff to do. And I mean, being early access, they're probably going to add a bunch of stuff later on. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later in the next one.